And so in other words, Christians preserve through spreading the saving news of Jesus wherever we go. That's how we're salt the earth. We're going and wherever we go, we, we take our message and we just spread it. We just spread it. We move somewhere else, we spread it there. We, get, uh, in, we go to work and we spread it there. We get home with our family and we spread it there. Wherever we're at, that's where we're at. We are salt spreaders. I was reading this week about the first missionary that came from North America, and his name was George Leal. But he was born a slave around 1750 in Virginia. And at the age of 23, he began preaching to fellow slaves about Jesus, and they ended up forming what was likely the first African-American church gathering in, the, in America. And so after the Revolutionary War, he fled to Jamaica because uh, some Virginia slave uh, owners were trying to re-enslave him. And so to do this, he had to become an indentured servant. But he made his way to Jamaica. And guess what he did after running for his life and being born into slavery and finally making it to freedom in Jamaica? He continued to share about Jesus wherever he was. And so he went on to form the first church plant on the island composed of slaves. And so by 1791, he had reported 400 baptisms. Now, white slave owners in Jamaica did not like what he was doing because they uh, didn't want the slaves to be, quote, enlightened with religion. So on multiple occasions, they would throw him into prison. So what did he do then? He kept preaching about Jesus and baptizing people. So the reason I, I share this is to give you an example of what it looks like to be salt in the earth. Now, maybe you won't have 400 conversions, but I challenge you that wherever you go, wherever you are, to be salt, spreading the salt of the gospel, the good news of Jesus all around. And that's the first.